When we eat foods such as green leafy vegetables, which are high in nitrate, or if we supplement with nitrate-rich beetroot juice, which is an ergodonic aid, the nitrate that these foods contain, which is represented by the green dot here, travels down into the small intestine. And from the small intestine, it can be absorbed into the circulation. And once in the circulation, the nitrate can be taken up by the saline glands. And when it arrives in the oral cavity, it can be acted upon by the actions of nitrate reducing bacteria and converted to nitrite, which is represented by the blue dot here. Salivary de derived nitrite is partly reduced in the acidic stomach to nitric oxide. But some of this nitrite survives gastric passage and enters the circulation. And this is evident because if we give somebody a dose of nitrate and then sample the blood plasma, we see high levels of nitrate and nitrite. But importantly, if we abolish the actions of these nitrate reducing bacteria with interventions such as mouthwash or antibiotics, then we lose the ability to convert nitrate to nitrite from the diet and the vasodilatory properties of nitric oxide are lost.